Hey guys, Adam here from dpadnews.com, just looking to answer some of the questions you've had for us here at DPad News. So the first thing that I'd like to clear up is that this is the Wii. Most of the Call of Duty Viz, as even though I have it in the title, you guys still want to know if this truly is the Wii. To answer that question, yes, yes it is. I wouldn't lie to you, I'm not an ass. Moving on. Uh, the next question that uh, we've been getting a lot is there split screen. There is currently no split screen available on the Wii, nor will there be as far as I am as far as I know. Um, it's not something that could be integrated into uh, downloadable content. So unfortunately, you can't. Uh, there there won't be any split screen on the Wii. However, another question we have been getting is is there a zombie mode? For anybody who hasn't yet seen the zombie video we have made, um, well, I'll put some clips over top of this right now. Um, zombie mode, there is currently one level available. Uh, Kinder und Tuten, that's probably said completely wrong, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> that is the single level that is available to play currently on the Wii for Zombies. Now, it is allegedly uh, claimed that there will be downloadable content available for zombies. So that is a possibility that will allow us to have several other options, um, like the Pentagon playing as JFK, Richard Nixon, all those other levels that we currently don't have would then therefore be made available. Um, uh, the other thing about zombies is that it's a four-player online co-op. This of course doesn't mean that you have to play co-op, you can play just single-player zombies, but you can go into a matchmaking to find three other people to play with you. On the other side of that is, is that you can have just three friends. So, co-op is available to play in zombies. Um, moving on to uh, customization, uh, there are a few things that haven't been put into the game that is, say, available onto the other consoles. Um, so, here is what's not in the game. Uh, there is no customizable reticle, uh, there is no face paint, and there are no emblems. Um, these are things that couldn't possibly become downloadable content to allow fans of the Wii version uh, the ability to use those. Um, in addition, there is no uh, really uh, customization in terms of uh, what you can and cannot put on your guns. There is no... Um, uh, clan tags either. Um, there are camouflages available for the Wii uh, that you can put onto your weapons. There's a probably a, a, there's a good handful. Uh, there, there's quite a few camos that you can use, and some are pretty sweet. I am a big fan of the red and um, uh, Siberia, and the tiger actually looks really cool on the WA2000. Um, the other things that aren't in the game, uh, in terms of, uh, equipment, uh, the camera spike is not in the game. For anybody who doesn't know what the camera spike is, the camera spike allows you, it pretty much acts as a camera. Um, it would have been very useful for, say, search and destroy, um, objective missions where you would have to defend a certain location. It would also be very helpful for those, um, looking, uh, to snipe, you could put... Uh, uh, the camera spike down in a certain area, perhaps near a doorway, so that way if you, there is somebody coming towards you, you would be alerted. Um, the other thing that uh, wasn't put in uh, for the killstreaks was um, uh, the gunship wasn't put in, uh, unfortunately. And uh, one thing that really didn't make any sense to me was that the uh, flamethrower attachment was not put into the game. Um, especially considering that the flamethrower was available in World at War on the Wii. So in terms of the Classic Controller Pro, you guys wanted to see what sort of controls you actually go to use. Well, to show you, here is the Classic Controller Pro here. So here's my uh, current layout. So obviously the dual analog is for moving. Um, aside from that, uh, X is to knife A is to change my stance and B 
is to run. Uh, y is the interaction, uh, so if you're switching weapons, or, or picking up weapons, or doing anything with crates, or anything along the nature of that, that's what you would use. Um, down on the D-pad switches your uh, weapon, uh, and then the corresponding uh, inventory. So side could be uh, kill streaks or uh, claymores or anything along the nature of those lines. That's what the D-pad, uh, the D-pad would be used for. Now to turn it around here. Um, now this is the left side here for me. Or yeah. So the left side, uh, LZ. That's right, LZ. I am Canadian, so LZ. LZ is to aim down your sights. Uh, right Z is to fire. Um, this one here, uh, right bumper, is for your uh, lethal grenades, and the left bumper is for your tactical grenades. Another question we have been getting, is this worth buying? The answer to that is yes. Of course, there are several problems it is facing right now that doesn't take away from the overall fun of the game. If you have a wireless connection, you can usually get around all the problems facing the internet multiplayer currently. However, I would say for those trying to use a LAN adapter that it does become very, very frustrating having your Wii freeze over and over and over again. And that does take away from the play. The graphics in the game are a lot better than they were in Reflex, and the gameplay has improved. Um, I find that the multiplayer, when you are actually able to play, is a lot of fun. So my, my answer to you is yes, the game is worth getting. If you are a fan of Call of Duty and you're a fan of playing it on the Wii, then you will very much enjoy the game. Uh, the last question we got here is, can you be friends with me? No. No you cannot. I am too good for you. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course. I will put my ally code somewhere in this video, probably right around now, on the screen. Um, so go ahead and send me an ally request, and I will shall accept, and um, maybe you'll eventually be in one of these videos. Um, uh, another thing that I actually just picked up before I got home tonight from work, um, from my second job, for anybody who didn't watch the video for one in the chamber. I work at a TV station as a writer reporter slash in there someplace. Anyways, um, so I picked up uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for the 360. So there should be some videos for anybody who is a fan of the 360. Uh, those will be up uh, this week too. Um, probably doing the multiplayer and showing some of that footage. So if you guys have any other questions, uh, be sure to uh, post them in the comments. I look at every single comment that you guys make. Um, never think that uh, they're not being seen. Uh, these were just the generalized questions that a lot of people were asking that needed to kind of get covered. Um, so once again, guys, thank you a lot. Uh, we really appreciate it. Make sure to actually go over and check the website out. It's www.dpadnews.com. There's a dot between the www and the dpad news just say anyways guys that's gonna do it for me stay tuned for tomorrow um if i have time i'm i i'm gonna get the classic controller pro review up this week i promise and uh we will have um some footage of the elite uh it's our web series for call of duty that's gonna be up and it's gonna be big and it's gonna be a lot of fun and you guys are really going to enjoy it anyways guys i'll see you later for d-pad news i'm adam